Zodiac Gang, what's good? Cash the Gemini here, back with another video, back with another cash out. I don't know. Today up, we do have Sideshow Collectibles Huntress Premium Format Figure. Uh, let's go ahead and dive right into this and give you my thoughts. Is this a cash out or I don't know? Um, diving right into this, first thing off the bat, most important thing, the most important thing, got to be the price, right? We got a $585 price point. Definitely not too bad. I think that the the price point is something that obviously everybody can can live with. Um, can't speak on anybody else's wallet, but you know, in my opinion, I don't think that uh, I don't think that's too bad, man. Uh, so we'll say five eighty five. There is expected to ship between June of two thousand twenty two, which is this current month right now, uh, in August. So within the next three months, I probably maybe even say. So. Sometimes they push stuff back a little bit. So we should get it within the next three months. Four months. Um, looking good. Another important thing here, right here, is going to be the edition size. Now, this is limited edition of 1,750 of these. 1,750. That's not a high number. Um, I think the ES is perfect. However, I know some of y'all out there is going to be saying it should be lower. 1,750 is still too high. Still too high. Um, but I don't, I don't feel that 1750 is really all that bad, you know, personally, it doesn't have an exclusive. So, um, I don't think 1750 is bad. Would you like to see this a thousand? Uh, sure. Maybe, but 1750 isn't too bad. Uh, let's dive into the specs before we get to the pictures. So we got Steve Lord on the sculpt, Ian McDonald on the design, Richard Long. <laughs> is what I assume in the man and the death is 8.50 which I don't feel is too bad overall so diving quickly into the pictures here uh the first picture here I think flat out blows it out the water I love what I'm seeing here uh I love what I'm seeing here I think this is great and it's really, really amazing the way this is looking. Uh, just look at this, man. Now, what do you guys think about the portrait? The portrait, I personally feel that they got the hair perfect. I like the mask on her. It gives it more of a, a, a more of a seductive. It's almost like a face I would see like a cat woman, so to say. It gives it a very seductive, uh, seductive face. Um, I like that the weapon is literally just like resting on her on the back of her shoulder blades i like that it's almost like like yo i'm, I'm just waiting you know what i'm saying it shows a lot of confidence to me i like what i see here i love the colors uh, and whatnot um purple the whites um like i said the cowl is very cool uh, we'll get to the base as well in a little bit and if you look at this here it doesn't it's not a big footprint of a statue uh this pairs very well with the black canary um, I love the capes. I'm no longer fabric capes do not bother me whatsoever. The wiring that, that they're putting inside of the fabric capes as well as the material that they're using to make the fabric capes are honestly amazing. So uh, I'm perfectly fine with fabric capes. Again, 20 inches on the height, 8.5 on the depth and 17.25 on the width. Uh, and again, I'm wondering, is the width more to do with the weapon or is it to do with the cape? And you really can't tell the difference in this photo here. Because I'm assuming if they're going off of the cape, you'll be able to actually get away with a little bit more, uh, with a little bit less space, I should say. Or perhaps even more, depending if you stretch it out all the way. Uh, so let's try to get a little bit closer up picks to the base if we can here. On the back of the base, uh, you can actually see uh, some wood here along with a, uh, a knife uh, that's being, a combat knife that's being put on the back here. Great little touch on the back there. Uh, in the front here, you can actually see a crowbar. Try to zoom in here a little bit. You can see a crowbar with some bullets. I never noticed the bullet, the bullets in the, uh, you know, when this was uh, released last year, when this was first shown last year. As you guys can see, opposable cape, so you can, you know, have it swishing one way or have it have it going another way. I think that's pretty cool. Um, very cool. Face sculpt is perfect. I like the eyes. I think the eyes is cool. They got the eyelashes. A lot going on there. I like that. It's almost like she's doing her makeup before coming out and fighting crime, man. Definitely cool. Um, ah, man, 
I almost feel like is there's there's something missing. I don't know what's missing, but it, it's very it's a very plain statue, but it has enough if that makes sense. It's like it's plain, but there's enough. Uh, the base is very similar to Logan uh, from from Daniel Bell in terms of the wood grain. This one here, they just put some uh, highlights of green on here. You got the broken beer bottle. Over here, you have uh, bullet fragments, crowbar. Back of here, you have a knife. So, excuse me. Oh, not even bullet fragment. That's the from the bro broken glass. Okay. So my mistake there. I didn't notice. I didn't even realize that uh, previously that there was anything there. I just I don't remember that. The box looks amazing. Even the box art. The box art seems like ever since Thorbreaker of Brimstone, uh, Silver Surfer, Scarlet Witch. Um, I'm trying to think any other uh, Huntress or not Huntress, but uh, Black Canary. It seems like a lot of the the box arts are getting a lot better. Like I almost look forward to being able to actually see that uh, now moving forward. But I really do like this statue. I think it's solid. I don't think it blows me out the park like it's going to be the best statue out there. But I do feel that it's solid. If you look here, here is the appearing of Black Canary and Huntress and Man. Oh man, as a pair. As a pair, they look incredible. As a pair, this looks incredible. This is what you want right here. This is what you want. Man, these looking... Oh, man. Yo. Yo. Gotham... Is this... Oh, I was going to say Gotham City Sirens. That's not the Sirens. This is uh, Birds of Prey. That is crazy, man. Um... Correct me if I'm wrong. Forget one of you guys will. But this is crazy. I like this, man. I'm not a fan of this Catwoman here. Um, either the Catwoman or the swap out with the Batman cow. But I think this is very, very cool. I do like this here a lot. Um, like I said, I'm very excited to be able to have all these personally. Like it to have these. I think this is amazing. And just wow. Wow. All four ladies here look incredibly amazing. I do have the cat, or not cat one. I do have the black canary already. I do have tweeter heads, Harley coming, Joker tweeter head coming. Um, so my DC collection is slowly growing. It won't be the biggest because I only want certain characters. Not a whole lot like Marvel. So my DC collection is going to be very smaller, but it's going to be nice though. Uh, leave in the comment section down below if this Huntress is one that you are picking up. If this Huntress is, is a statue that you do want, if you like that price point of five eighty five, that addition size of uh, one thousand seven hundred and fifty bucks, the fact that it is coming out within another, uh, within another, what uh, two two months? Does that are you are you okay with that? You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let me know if you guys are okay with that. If you if you like this statue, is this statue a cash out or I don't know? Is the biggest debate. It's the biggest debate. It has to be a debate. I mean, we're talking money here. We're talking, does it pair well with something else? Are you just a Huntress fan? Uh, do you like the Bartonellis? You know what I mean, it's like, 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 why are you getting this statue? Are you getting this statue because you generally like the character? Are you getting this statue because it pairs with another statue? Are you getting this statue because you like the Birds of Prey? Like, like, why are you getting this statue? That's what I want to know. Leave in the comment section down below why you're getting this statue for me personally this statue is a cash out i like it being in quarter scale i like the price i like the es i like the colors purple is my favorite color by the way fyi i love it i love everything that i'm seeing i think her, she had a very small role in, in the arrow tv show was good in there she's in the birds of prey comics definitely highlighted in there so me personally i like the character i like what sideshow did too like i said it doesn't blow me out the park but for the price point Especially if I can get it on Sideshow Seconds for $100 off or if it's still available on Black Friday, 10% free shipping off, baby. You already know what it is, man. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that. As your boy Cash, the Gemini. Uh, I'm out. And uh, hit, that, hit, hit that subscribe button, though. Like, for real, hit that subscribe button, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 right here. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Cash, the Gemini, and I'm out. Hey, Cash out, baby. Huntress, PF. If you want it, you probably should get it. It's a low ES, so it may sell out. It may not sell out. But all I know is 